tutorial video about the estimates of materials of the plan. The lesson for today is to solve the wall footing beam with this one. Now, the wall footing is the whole length where the CHB or line. This is now the wall footing. This one, this one, and uh, we have a wall footing in the CR. This is the overthrown. The length of the wall footing is 8 in this side, also 8 in this side to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. There are 5, then plus this length of wall footing in the overthrown. Uh, to solve this, the length of the horizontal bar using for the using for reinforcement bar of the wall foot wall footing beam minus we should minus the opening of the door door opening and the opening of this portion so it as solve the we get the data of the Dimension of the wall. Do one from the drawing, one meter. Do two equals two of the width of 0.8. Do three is 0.9, where the, this is the back door. And the, there is the opening, opening equals 1.5 so the length now is equals uh, 5 times 8 the length of the side plus the length of the two sides of comfort rooms 3.2 times 2 minus the door opening length equals 40 plus how much is this 6.4 This is now the horizontal bars. This is only a one length. So, to get the total, length total, this is times 2 equals 96. must be divided by 6 to get the total the of total number of bars commercial bars so 
96 divided by 6. How much is that? 16 equals 16. 16 pieces um, 12 mm we we use 12 mm for uh, horizontal bars. Now we have already a uh, number of bars using in the wall footing beam and then we solve the anchor bar which is this one the anchor bar the anchor bar is This is not the anchor bar. Uh, the anchor bar, this length is 40 and the band is 1. So, to find, to find the length, One anchor bar point uh, forty plus two four times point ten equals point six. This is now the one length of one anchor bar. Number two so the so the total number of pieces of the anchor bar the length here is 48 48 divide by 0.6 which is this one oh no this is the in the Drawing specified there that this space is 0.6 meter. This is now the, the divide, dividend of the length so that we can know we, 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 we know the number of pieces of bar equals now solve the number of pieces of a core bar. This 0.6 and this 0.6 are different. This 0.6 is the Number uh, spacing of the bar, anchor bar in the beam. While this point six is the one length of anchor bar. So to solve the number of pieces of anchor bar, we divide by this point six. The number of pieces. This is eighty. Uh, the pieces. Oh, this is the spacing. This is not now the pieces. Plus one to get the exact number of uh, anchor bar. So this is now 81 pieces. We solve now the total length of the anchor bar. Now to solve and to to solve the length of anchor bar uh, 81 pieces times 0.6 which, which is this 0.6 so the answer is uh, we sold now the number of pieces of anchor bar and the wall footing wall footing beam. Uh, 48 the length of the bar times 
I'll divide by 0.25, which is the spacing of the uh, specified spacing of the kanang ang curve bar kung center 0.25. Or it divide by 0.25. The answer is 192 to get the exact number of pieces of a curve bar. One equals 193. Determine the total length of anchor bar. This is 183 times this length to get the total num total length of anchor bar. Uh, equals 115 or equal equals 116 meter. Uh, number four. Determine the number of commercial bar number of commercial bar divide uh, equals 116 divide by 6 uh, equals not sure. equals 19.3 or or 20 pieces number 10 mm ten mm diameter by six meters it's not that it's not in the Uh, we go to now the tie wires. Letter C is tie wire. So the tie wires. To solve the tie wire, the number of pieces of the number of pieces of bar times which is this one one two. This is times 3 because this is the perpendicular bar and of course we have a tie we use a tie wire here so times 193 times 3 equals solve now the tie wire to solve the number of pieces of tie wire uh, the length of a curve bar times 23 so this the number of pieces is 579 pieces ah. and then to find the length of tie wire where the tie wire is 23 so 579 times 23 so the total length is 173.7 or equal 174 ah, convert it to kilogram where the Factor is in one in fifty in fifty three meters equal to in fifty three meters of the wire equals to one kilogram. So to convert the length of Tie wire into kilogram, one one seventy four, and divide by fifty three. So the needed tie wire is three point eight kilogram of sixteen number sixteen tie. Ah. Then we solve now the. Concrete wall coating. Uh, then solve the solve the volume. The volume is the thickness is 20 and the width is 0.5. The volume is 0.2. Where the formula of volume is thickness times width times length. Uh, 0.2 times 0.5 times the total length of 48 
So the answer is win for the four hundred a uh, four point eight cubic meter. Uh, using the glass e mixture one is to two is to four or in one cubic meter eight bags of cement times equals Thirty eight point four or equal to thirty nine bags of cement using in the wall putting and forty eight times point one as we know that the factor of sun is point five so two point four cubic meter. And uh, gravel is one cubic meter equals four point eight cubic meter of gravel, and this is sand. Uh, we summarize now. Thirty nine bags of cement two point four cubic meter of gravel four point eight cubic meter of I pieces of 12 mm diameter by 6 meter uh, the anchor is the anchor bar is 20 pieces 10 mm and the uh, tie wire is Three point eight kilogram number sixteen tie wire. This fifty three kilograms is only for number sixteen tie wire. So this is the summary of mat materials needed in wall footing. At the Our next video is about the pulling. We saw the total number of concrete hollow blocks. Next video. Thank you.